Your AI agent can now talk to Google Maps, Slack, Brave Search, and more without writing a single API call. We're connecting MCP to N8N to make workflows smarter, faster, and fully automated. Watch this if you're done wasting time. Step 1. What's MCP and why it's a big deal? MCP Model Context Protocol isn't just another protocol. It's a universal bridge that lets AI agents communicate with APIs without needing specific instructions for each one. Forget building flows for every app. With MCP, tools like Brave Search, Slack, GitLab, and Google Maps become instantly accessible. Your agent can list, understand, and use them, all on its own. No manual endpoint juggling, just clean JSON with schema descriptions and tool names. Think of it as the USB-C for AI. Plug it in and it just works. Step 2. Add the MCP node to N8N. Now let's wire it up inside N8N. Go to this GitHub repo by nerding IO. This is your key. It contains the MCP community node built for N8N. Head over to your self-hosted N8N instance, click on Settings, Community Nodes, paste the repo link or name. Check the I understand box and hit install. Done? Cool. If you run into install errors, drop a comment and I'll help. Step 3. Enable community packages in Docker for self-hosters. Access your server via SSH. Navigate to your N8N Docker setup. Edit the docker-compose.yml file. Inside your environment variables. Add minus N8N underscore community underscore packages underscore enabled equal sign true save the file. Now restart N8N using docker restart N8N. This gives N8N permission to use community-built packages like the MCP node. The moment you see your AI agent pulling live restaurant data from Brave with zero hard-coded APIs, yeah, that's the moment you realize you're not just automating, you're engineering the future. Now let's finish wiring this beast. Step 4. Add the AI chat model node. Add a chat model node. It can be OpenAI, Gemini, or even Grok. Just make sure you've plugged in your API key. This is the brain of your workflow. It's what will interpret the user prompt and decide which MCP tool to use. If you haven't done this before, drop the chat model node on your canvas in the credentials tab. Paste your OpenAI or Gemini API key. Save it done. Now your workflow can actually understand instructions and make smart decisions. Step 5. Use the MCP client minus list tools. Drag the new MCP client node onto your canvas. Set it to list tools. This is the discovery phase. It tells the agent what it has access to. Think of it like giving your agent a toolbox. It needs to know what's inside before it starts working. You'll need to set up credentials here using NPS commands. Head to the MCP GitHub repo and scroll down to find credential setup instructions. Example for Brave NPS at MCP protocol slash CLI credential. Add Brave this API key equal sign your underscore API underscore KI underscore K. Run this on your server and boom, you're in. Step 6. Set up Brave API access web search. Go to Brave's dashboard and sign up for an account. It'll ask for credit card details, but it's free if you're just testing. Once you've subscribed, head to API keys. Generate one and copy it. Back in N8N, click on credentials, add new. Choose MCP credential and paste the Brave API key in the required field. Save and name it properly. This helps keep things clean when you add more services later. Step 7. Add second MCP client minus execute tool. Now that your agent knows what tools are available, it's time to use them. Add another MCP client node. Set it to execute tool and link it to the previous MCP nodes. Configure it like this. Select the tool Brave Web Search or Brave Local Search. Let the AI define parameters like query, count, and offset in the chat model node. Mention in the system prompt to always start with list tools before using execute tool. This gives your agent full freedom to ask for tools and act based on what it finds. Step 8. Test it out. Let's search restaurants. Open the chatbot and ask it find five top-rated restaurants in Mumbai. Here's what happens. The AI model sends your query through the chat node. The list tools node fetches all MCP tools available for example, Brave Web Search. The AI picks the right tool Brave Search fills in the query field, sets the count to 5 the execute tool node fires off the actual API call. You get a clean list of restaurant recommendations, live, fresh, and with links, no hard-coded API endpoints, no manual JSON, just pure automation. Step 9. 
Handling the response, Brave Search typically returns a JSON array with title, description URL. If you want to extract specific links, titles or metadata, add a set or function node after the execute tool to parse the output. Want to scrape the actual page content? Use Firecrawl or another scraping node right after. From here you can send the result to Slack Notion email Google Sheets, any other app in your N8N library. Step 10. Scaling it up. Once you've tested Brave, start adding other MCP-supported services. Slack, GitLab, Google Maps, Postgres, Google Drive. Each one will follow the same two-node pattern. List tools, execute tools, set up credentials for each. Name them properly. Update your system prompt to let the AI know what's available. Now you've got a multi-agent workflow where your AI can read a file from Google Drive, search for locations, and drop results in Slack, all with zero custom API code. Bonus tip. If your AI fails to execute the right tool, tweak the system prompt in the chat node. Be specific. Tell it. Use list tools first. Use Brave Web Search tool for web queries. Use Execute tool only after listing tools. This helps the AI stay on track without misfiring or looping. You're now building smarter, faster AI-powered automations without writing a single API call. Like what you saw? Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment if you want deeper builds or MCP advanced tutorials. You've leveled up.